This is option two for the puzzle design project for grade seven. As we discussed earlier in uh, the introductory video, you are basically going to take these six puzzle pieces and scale them much larger for a visually impaired uh, child. So this going to start out on graph paper. Hopefully, if you have graph paper, if not, it's still to be able to be done on line paper. But you're going to sketch these pieces out and then design a scale that you can implement into Onshape. As you can see, I've done that on line paper to show that this can be done even without resources during virtual learning. And one of the things you're going to notice is uh, I also included my scale on this. So I have the six different puzzle pieces that are designed according to what we see here. I'm going to then move over to Onshape. It's very important during this that you have your pieces handy or your drawings handy as well because that's what we're going to work off of. We're going to create these six pieces all in the top plane. They can be done uh, in separate sketches though. So I laid that sketch down on the top plane. I'm going to grab my line tool and according to those specifications, I'm going to make my first piece. You'll notice that I'm not exiting my line tool after each uh, line. Rather, what I'm doing is uh, clicking, entering my dimensions, and then continuing on. This allows the process to go much quicker. You'll also notice that as I go around, I'm making sure that all of my uh, lines are according to 90 degree angles so I can keep that right angle. The way I'm identifying that is I get that dotted line when I draw my line to let me know that it, I'm at a right angle. You can also notice that as I begin to build my piece, I can use the dimensions of the lines that I've already draw, drawn to make it go quicker. I can see that dotted line that allows me to line up those pieces. So we can see as I've made that piece one, I've closed that drawing because I get that light blue shading. I then can extrude my puzzle piece, uh, again, to whatever you choose. I think one inch is way too large. I think 0.25 inches creates a nice piece. But again, you can choose to create that at whatever you'd like to. Now that is how I created piece one, but what you're gonna notice is I'm gonna create all six of my pieces in that. So if I can show you in the one that I've already completed, I have my six puzzle pieces laid out uh, on that front plane just like I showed on the original piece. And just to click on my sketch too, again, I can take a look at that. And according to that drawings that I made based off of those pictures, I just went around and made my sketch, finished my sketch and did my extrusion. To, so I have all six pieces. In the next video, I'm going to go through the process of how we could begin to assemble those six pieces that we laid out on the front plane to put our puzzle together.